Uh, and I'm sorry, guys. I am in pain. Project we were starting today guys about a year ago when the rainies were here with the tv show homestead rescue they built us this massive retaining wall to save our house right here and the retaining wall is working so good guys but one thing that is not working so good is the drain system so right beneath me here we did a really makeshift drainage system and it's actually pretty crucial because a lot of this water just kind of pools up back here. This is kind of like a collection point, a swale, if you want to call it that. So all the water pools up right here, you know, coming down from the mountain. When it rains, everything goes to this lowest point. And the drain system that we put in when the rainers were here just frankly does not work. We still had a lot of water coming into the house this spring. We just had a really good rainstorm just a few days back and we had you know just a little bit of water coming in just during that small rainstorm so what we're doing today is trying to start the project of assessing the drainage of trying to you know really figure out what we can do i have a few ideas in mind but the very first thing we need to do is get there's uh some metal some like roofing tin that we try to use to collect the water we need to get that out of the way so it's easy to dig. So there's some roofing metal underneath here and you can see this is the edge of the metal there and there is just like a, a sinkhole, a crack. And that's where all the water flows into. And once that water is flowing, it flows all along the wall here, it flows out this way, it just uh, kind of goes wherever it wants. A lot of it goes through the block wall down at the bottom there. So we need to take care of this issue right here. Right now, what we're going for is I have a 55 gallon drum that I want to dig into the ground and use it as almost like a dry well. A dry well is, you know, something that you dig into the ground, fill it up with rocks and give the water somewhere to dissipate. And uh, connected to that dry well, I want to run a pipe out this way to divert the water away from the house. Um, it's a little tricky because we are dealing with the septic system, you can see the clean out right there. So I need to go underneath that clean out, um, almost like bore the pipe underneath that clean out. This is uh, not my top project, but it's something that needs to get done. I really don't like doing this work right by the house here like this. Um, yeah, needs to get done, so let's keep going. So I have not dug anything but this first shell full. You can see it's all hollowed out all the way through there. It's undermined itself, you know, from all the runoff and all the rain that we've had, it's just, it's totally washed away all the dirt, which actually might be a good thing for trying to hammer a pipe through there, hammer some sort of drain through there. It's definitely a little dangerous having 
all this weight on top of it. Trying to push down, trying to cave it in. Don't love it. Try to use water, you know, to try to like hydro dig this. I'm hoping as I spray this, the water should go this way. But yeah, let's see if this works. What are you doing up there? Helping. All right guys, not bad for a day's worth of work. It's a good time for today, so we'll get back after it in the morning. change of plans as you can see I have this huge piece of culvert that I just went and bought so once we get up behind the house I'll let you know what we got going on here's what we have going on guys we're gonna take that big culvert we're going to shove it through this hole. Watch out, Mr. Judd. Got to show everybody. We're going to put it all the way through there. Then we'll go on the back side. And I'm going to dig this hole out to even lower than what the lowest point of this culvert is going to be. And that drain rock that you guys saw in the back of the old uh, GMC is going to fill up that hole. I'll actually probably need to go get another load of drain rock. So what that's going to do is hopefully drain all this water into the ground and if for whatever reason that water decides to fill up inside this giant hole it's going to start to hit this culvert i'm hoping to have the hole about a foot maybe two feet lower than the bottom of the culvert so it'll fill up to there and uh you know hit the culvert and spill over if it needs to the bottom of the culvert is going to be just beneath the bottom grade of the foundation here so it should work out perfect hopefully this is the fix that we have been looking for guys because like i said i hate digging around here still got a lot of work to do so let's do it
Next morning, guys. A lot of work when you're doing all this by yourself. We'll uh, give you a little update of where we got to yesterday, what we're doing today to hopefully finish up this project. We got the culvert in. This actually worked out perfect, guys. Originally, I was only looking for like maybe 12 feet to span the length of this block wall, but ended up getting a 20 foot section and I'm glad that I did it that way. I think in the long run, that's gonna be a much better option to control that water for as long as we can you know, to get it as far away from the house as possible. And then back here, it's a little hard to tell. The camera does not quite do it justice, but this is still a massive hole. So we need to get this filled with drain rock. We need to get some filter fabric over the end of that. The last thing I did yesterday was uh, I unloaded a yard and a half of that drain rock by hand out of the back of the old GMC here. And after realizing how much more gravel that we need, I'm gonna go rent a dump trailer to get the rest in there. All right, guys, we got first load dumped there. And man, my back is just like so tight. Ah, really spasming hard. This has happened one other time before, but it always seems to happen at like the worst possible times. You know, I got the rental trailer. I got stuff that I'm really trying to get done like right now. Uh, so I took some ibuprofen. I'm gonna try to fight through this, but man, very painful. Just put a piece of filter fabric over the entrance to this pipe. To back up this trailer, hopefully it goes smooth. That is a lot of weight behind that little half ton. Uh, back up this trailer and dump the rest of these rocks. If I can get out of this hole. All right, guys, we got that load dumped and I'm going to return the trailer because I can uh, get it back in time to have a half day. And then once we get back, I'll push these rocks in with the excavator. Uh, and I'm sorry, guys, I am in pain.
good for the back, guys. Once I dropped that trailer off, I could hardly even walk, guys. So, I've been laying low for like the last day and a half, two days. Really want to get this done, so I'm just going to try to rake the rest of this in. All right, guys. Well, we got it pretty much all buttoned up. I did not mean to put that much dirt on top. I was trying to fill in a little hole here, so a little more raking to do. But all in all, this turned out really good, I think. I hope it works. Pretty sure it's gonna work. So what we did is we dug a hole down about 10 feet, guys. It was deep. Filled up the first two feet with river rock. Have a culvert at that two foot level, the bottom of the culvert. So if water ever rises to that two foot level, it'll start flowing out of the culvert. And uh, the rest of the hole we filled up with the rock. And then, so I think it's gonna work, guys. I have really high hopes. I've seen this done on other people's property. Not so much to control running water, but to uh, just dry the ground out in general. You know, dig a giant hole, put some river rock in it. That river rock does not compact. So it leaves a bunch of spaces for air and water and everything to kind of just do its thing naturally. So I have pretty high hopes for this. Hopefully it works. Like I said, I have just a bit more cleanup to do here, but for now that's the end of, I guess, phase one for this project. Phase two is going to be getting the culvert connected to send it off over the edge, as well as putting some filter fabric up here and just kind of touching this up. Um, but yeah, until then, we'll see you guys later.